Hey everyone and welcome to another game casted by HD Phoenix. I have my co-caster here, HG, and this is the finals in the Singapore StarCraft League tournament. In the bottom left, we have the green Zerg as Sweet, and in the top right, we have the blue Terran as Jix. Now, these players are very well respected on, on, the, ladder, uh, on the ladders, and actually, HG, you do know Sweet, right? You, you play a lot of games with him. Why don't you tell us more about him? Hey guys, uh, yeah, firstly, I would like to thank everyone for their support during the Singapore StarCraft League. Yes. There was a lot of fun. There were a lot of people and many players were just having their friends behind them to support them. Anyway, I'll get back to the game. Thank you, girlfriends. Oh yeah, anyway, uh, Sweet is actually a very old school um, Warcraft 3 player. He's actually from uh, Clan DSD, which I'm also from DSD. He plays uh, as Undead and his nick is actually uh, DSD Pinkly. And based with, I mean, based on his very, very strong RTS foundations, uh, he is actually excelling very well in, uh, in in StarCraft 2 now. And his opponent will be Jix, the Blue Terran. And uh, I don't really know much about Jix, but he's really turning out to be quite a hit in the scene. Yeah, actually, if you if you see any of the games, he is known for very, very good scouting. Look for him to either take these uh, Naga Watchtowers to be scouting with medbacks or scouting with Stim Marines. This guy really, really likes to know what the opponent is going for. He plays almost like a Zerg, you know, in the amount of scouting that he does. And most Terran players get very lazy and they don't get very good scouting. It's because Terran is such a good all-round race that you could build your MM ball and push out and pretty much deal with anything. So scouting is not as important. Jix is going to come in here and see the early extractor. He is known. They are going to go uh, extra, um, speed links and it's going to be interesting to see how Jix holds it off. Um, basically, Jix has a few uh, build orders from, from, from here on. He can either go for Reapers, he can um, he can get Phyrex Reapers, he can, he can transit after that. If, if Sweet uh, counters with Roaches, he can get Marauders. But as for Sweet, he is actually going for an early gas for that Metabolic Boost. And he is still not throwing down that early hatchery. So it's, it's going to be, um, I mean, against a Terran, you, you don't really want to throw down an early hatchery because um, it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah, pretty suicidal. It's, 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 the, it's, it's the amount of aggression, but in this case, it's actually better if you, if you, if you throw down a hatchery because there is no, there's no signs of any Reaper arrest. So, actually, I mean, if you look at Sweet, that timing of that drone is very, very impeccable. It was just in time because early Terran openings is really boring. It's always the same. Supply Depot, Barracks, Gas. And what Sweet was looking for was that early Tech Lab. He saw there was no Tech Lab. Okay, there's not going to be early Reapers. I can get my expansion. And that's exactly uh, what Sweet is doing. And actually, we do have a very early factory. What do you think he, he could be going for? So he could be going the 111 build into Starport. and um, He could go Siege Tank. He could go Siege Tank. He could go Hellions. Hellions. Um, I, I'm not sure. If he, yes, he's getting that Tech Lab. So he might be switching the factory over for that Inferno pre igniter But I am not too sure. There are so many. There, there are just so many uh, ways that the Terran can go. Now, he, may, he can even go for Cloak Banshees because... Uh, if Jix knows that uh, that, early, that early hatchery has gone down, um, there's no way that the, the, the Zerg player is able to like tack up the lair. Look at the timings of these scouts, you know, like, these guys are not playing blind at all. Sweet is like, okay, I didn't see a tech lab, let's see if any, what, see, let's see what's uh, going on. There is a factory and a barrack swap and Jix, um, Sweet is gonna peek up there, he does, does he see it? He does see the swap, looking at, looking at the, the view, he does see the swap. And he's going to know that, okay, A, there's going to be tanks, or there's going to be Hellions with Pre-Igniter. So I'm going to go back. We already see four Zerglings and Speed coming on the way for Sweet. And he should be able to hold it. He is getting a Banelings Nest as well. Just yeah. started. And that's right. We, we do see that um, Jix is going for that um, Hellion Arrest. He's going for that uh, Infernal Pre-Igniter. So look and for then, him to just harass the Zerglings, harass the, 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 the mineral line of, of the natural expansion. And... And while he's doing that, he might be transiting to a, maybe a 3 rack 3 rack MN ball, or he might be getting a, a star pot out for his uh, med bags, but look for Jigs to really put on the pressure, and there he is with the Hellion. Save, look, at him, look at him save that drone right there, making it an extractor. He might cancel that, but right now Jigs is going to look to put some early pressure. Right now, Speed is almost done. Speed is gonna, probably going to try to wait for that. And um, look, he is going to get a surround on these Marines most likely, and he's going to pick them off. The Hellions will be roasting a few Zerglings, but that was actually a pretty good exchange. Hellions by themselves do very little damage. They only do good damage against Light. They do 14 instead of 8. But um, that, that drone was safe. Look for him to make another Extractor. There he is, the Extractor. He's, this drone is most likely going to be a, to another Extractor and save it. But it looks like Speed is going to kick in and, he, and uh, Speed is going to be able to hold this off. Oh, look at that. Look, look at that uh, fine control there by Speed. It is actually... I mean... Only very top 
tier players, so I don't do that. They are able to have that mindset that, you know, look, my drone is dying, I need to make an extractor, then... And then you just cancel it. Just no, cancel it. It, it. You get three quarters of the money back. So actually, Sweet only lost like six minerals for making an extractor, which cost 25, cancel it. And he got back, I think, 19 minerals. So he's going to be he's gonna be fine. Looking at the armies tab, we do have seven Bailing Cocoons. And all those Zerglings, because they were low health, are going to be made into Bailing. Look for him to do a bus, actually, in the front. But um, Jix is going to be prepared for that. He does have his Hellions. And wow, okay, actually, look at this. Looks like Jix is going to go for even more harass, so he harassed with three marines and a, and a hellion, and he's going to keep up the constant harass with pre-igniter double hellion. Look for him to just drop these hellions at the natural expansion to just keep off the drones from mining and just evening uh, evening out the income. But um, I, I'm not too sure. He, um, I, I think from 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 the minimap, Sweet actually has spe enough speed links enough to deal with, and the hellions are going in. Will he be able to pick up drones? Yes, he has picked up three drones and there are more drones. Or he might load them back. This is very good micro there by Jix. He is just microing his Helen so well. He is just keeping them alive, just making sure that they do, you know, maximum Look at this queen. Of this queen is all ready. And there are two queens. I mean, there's... Three really, queens. There's really nothing Jix could do now because of the of, of the speed on the field. But yes, he, he could be he could be abusing the, the, the use of the drop chips. But um he needs to transit if if, if um if he really needs if he really wants to win this battle because i mean going just pure oh and... look, look at look at the mini map now this is really really good play by sweet sweet jix is trying to to distract uh sweet by by going for this early command center while doing the harass but sweet sweet is not going to have any of it he's like okay if you want to distract me it's not going to work i'm going to counter attack because you're, you're doing all this micro you can't be doing too well on an army so Jix only has his one bunker and one Hellion, and he is going to move in with these Bailings, and this front door is going to go down. He does not have anything. This, this Hellion is going to die, and he's going to force Jix to retreat. All these, all these SCVs are going to die, and look for Sweet to make some Bailings with this and bust down the front door. And look at that, because Jix was forced to micro in his base, he wasn't microing his harass horse, and he lost both Hellions, and that Medvac barely, barely made it away. But look at, looking at the Army's tab, we have... 40 Zerglings and 9 Bailings being made. And I, I, I don't know. I don't know if Jix is going to be able to hold this off. Look for Jix to actually ward off his base with uh, enough um, big structures like the, the racks or the factory. But if Sweet is able to get a substantial amount of uh, Bailings to, to maybe bust down that factory or maybe bust down the barracks, he will be able to swarm in with Zerglings and that will be enough to take the game. And these Bailings were going to go for workers at the mineral line, but seeing as there's no bunker, they are wisely going to pull back. There are no Marines for them to take. The Zerglings are going to, to swarm down the front door. There are more Bailings going to be made because it takes 13 Bailings to kill a factory or a barracks. And with this amount of Bailings, they are going to be able to bust down their front door. But more importantly, there are two Thors coming out. There, well, one Thor already out and the second Thor is... And here comes the bus. Here we go, is he going to be able to break it? This Thor is so close to being out! If he can take out this factory, no, the factory does not go down. The Thor is going to come out and all the Zerglings are going to go down. This is not enough Zerglings. They do are able to take out the Light Marines, but these Thors are just going to clean up and look for Jix to repair these Thors back up to full health. Um, I mean, this is really very good play by Jix because the, knowing that he is expecting a bailing bus, he, he, he built two more bunkers at the back to just hold off the banning bus and this actually prevented the servings, I mean the speed links from uh, from from getting in uh, and uh, going for the kill. But we do see a Thor ship now and um, look for that Thor ship to actually bring it to the to the mineral line again for the harassment. But look, look, the, the Overlord sees the Thors. The Zergings actually did a double take. They're like, okay, we gotta defend, and they are gonna be very, they're gonna be completely ready for the Thor. Look, look for um, a excellent, sweet, excellent scouting. Look for Sweet to actually get Mutus on the field because he actually has Lair now. But oh, we do see. Oh, we see five roaches instead. Uh, I'm not too sure about this this option because well, roaches... they are four, so so mutas are pretty. But there are no zerglings. The zerglings were across the field, and this Thor already has twelve kills. Well, most of them were zerglings, but this is a commando Thor right here. And once again, looks Jix is basically trying to break the tempo of the zerg, trying to break the tempo of of, of uh, Sweet. Constantly attack, make him not a, make him be on the defensive, and Sweet right now is basically stuck in his base. Jix is actually um, doing very well now. He's he's just um, trying to just use this door and going around, harass the mineral line, keep the keep the zerg on, on at his base. In the, in the meantime, I would like to just see him uh, do a fast expand. I mean, expand to, to to his natural. But 
right now there there is still no is there a command center? I think yeah, there's that a, is a command there's center. There's command center but